Welcome to IT Boost YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show how to create buttons programmatically according to the database records using Visual Studio C Sharp and SQL Server. First, we have to create a table, right? So to create a table, I will open my uh, SQL Server Management Studio. I'm using the my Microsoft SQL Server 2014. Right, my username, uh, login username is SC. The password is 123456. So I have already, I have a database. Uh, so I'm going to use that database. So, I, so I'll go to new query. Let's say use IT Boost. Say IT Boost. And I'll highlight that one and I will select the data. Right. Now we have to create a table. The table create table products ID. Uh, it's identity data type identity. Identity is used for auto increment starting from one and increasing by one. And it's primary key product name. Right, watch a hundred product image. It's an image. So we will create the table. So inside the IT Boost data uh, database, I'm going to create the table. So I will type the query create table products ID, INT, identity, right, product name, product image. And I'll click execute query, right. The table is created now. <laughs> Now we, we can open the SQL uh, Visual Studio. So I will go to all apps and I will go to my Microsoft Visual Studio 2019. I'm using Microsoft Visual Studio 2019 and I'll go to create new project. So easy uh, to choose. I'll select C language, platform windows. And the project type, I will say uh, desktop. Now I will select a uh, Windows form uh, app.net framework and I'll click next. I will give a project name. I'll say post buttons. Right, you can give any name. I will save that one in a particular folder. Right, I will save that in my IT boost folder. Right. And I'll click create. Right now we have to make this uh, form. Right, there is a form, uh, two buttons. Right, and these buttons are we have to dynamically, we have to create programmatically according to the database. So we have uh, these buttons are we have placed uh, by manually. So what I do, I will uh, uh, just a, a little bit uh, si increase the size of the form, right? And I will name give a text for the form. I'll say pause, and I will add two buttons. One button and another button. You can drag or you can double click. Okay. And I'll select those two buttons. I will increase the font size a little bit bold italic. Right. I'll say the button one is a load pos. Text I will say load pos. I will say other for the other button add, add products. I will give a name also. I will give this a uh, name uh, DTN load load pass. Uh, this one I will say BTN add right. Fine. Now we have code, right? Other buttons have to be created dynamically according to the database. So first we have to use some additional namespaces. 
So we have to use the data SQL client IO for input output and drawing imaging. So we have to uh, import these uh, library uh, classes. So I will go to view uh, code and I, I import the additional three library classes using the namespaces. SQL client, IO, and uh, drawing images. Next, we need some uh, global variables. One is for the connection. It's a connection is going to be a string, string data type. The variable uh, name for the connection is trcn equal data source, my connection, right? So here I have the connection uh, with me. Here the connection name, right? Right. If you want here also, you can see the connection here. Connection properties. Here you can say my SQL, right? So I explained, you can view my uh, previous uh, other uh, lessons in the video. So you'll get how to make the connection string. Here in my case, Nimalan uh, initial catalog, IT boost. This is the going to be the database name, the user ID SA in my case, the password is 12345 in my case. So this is a global variable for the database connection. And here, uh, this is the variable for the number of buttons. So in a particular row, I'm going to show, uh, I'm going to show uh, six, uh, five buttons, one, two, three, four, five. So that's why that is the, uh, a button number of buttons per row you can if you want you can change it make six or four or whatever you want another variable for the button index to identify so we are going to create a button as an array so we need to identify initially that is zero this is a variable for uh, positioning y in the y-axis right so it's up and down so it's initially uh, 10 right so these are the global variables we need. So we will create that global variables. Right, now we have to give a code for button load post. When, when the user click on this uh, load post, right? So we'll see that code a little bit. Because I'm using a try catch method. If there are any exception uh, to handle that one, I'm using the try catch. So I'm using the connection, SQL connection, CN, new SQL connection, the connection string. The parameter is going to be the connection string. That is CN. Opening the connection. Command, making a command instant, command, CMD, a new instant. Select all from products. The table name is products, what we made. The table name is products. Order by ID using the connection. Right, that is for the command, right, SQL command, uh, data adapter, say another instant DA using the command, the query. And data set, DS, data set. For the data fill, data set, for the data set, we are using the table products. And after that, we are uh, INTC counting the table products row count. We are counting the rows, how many rows are there. If there are 10 rows, we have to loop 10 times because inside the loop, we are going to create the button. So if there are 10 records, we need, we need 10 buttons, right? So that's why we are counting the record rows count in the products table. So according to the uh, rows count, we are going to loop here i is equal to 1, i less than or equal to c. c is going to be the count i plus plus. So inside the loop here, we are creating a variable button name for the button name. And this is a byte array, byte array, byte blob data, new byte zero, right? I'll explain, right? Byte blob data, right? That is the array variable. Byte, because the image, the image, the product image is, is going to be saved as a, uh, a binary form, byte form. So we have to retrieve from that. Uh, the table products rows i minus 1 right because 
if it is an index, it will start from zero. So the rows is, if it first row is a one, so it should be zero. So I, if it is one, I, I minus one, zero. If it is two, two minus one, one, right? So that is product image, fetching the product image and assigning to the array variable, byte variable. Button name, string, DS table, product, same as rows, the product name. We don't need to just, be, it is a string, straight away string. This is a byte, uh, byte form for the image. And memory stream, using the memory stream, the blob data, we have to use a memory stream to save that one. After that, uh, making a, a object or a button, each and every time new button. This controls at new button. Button size, new size, the size of the button, I'm giving 100, 100. So this is the size of the button. New button image here. Yeah, new button image. Image dot from stream stm blob data. stm blob data. This is the memory, but we have stored in the memory stream for the button. Button text the button name. So the button name is going to be the product name in the database. In the database is going to be the product name is going to be the button name. Uh, the size of the font in the button, the size of the font in the button, the color uh, uh, font family, right? This is, uh, yeah, the size, making a size variable and assigning that variable to the size of button. And this is the color for the uh, font in the button. I am saying a color honey do, right? Now I'm going using a if condition, if button index equal to number of buttons, right? So the number of button is, is five here. We have defined five, right? Per row, per row five, right? So if the button index is, so if the, uh, if there are a button uh, five, right? And number of buttons are five, button index is equal to one. Y, we are moving Y index, right? So Y is 10 here. It means move to, uh, right? So the Y axis is going to be the vertical Y plus new button height, right? With the new button height, we are giving a space 10. So if the button height is 100, 100 plus Y is already we defined 10. So it will go to the next row. Otherwise, just button index plus 1. Keeping on 5 buttons, adding in the same row, right? If it is greater than 5, it will become to the next row. And defining the location also, new button location, new button, 10 into 1 button index minus 1, right? Starting from 0, button width and the button Y, Y is going to be. After that, closing the connection and the message box door. If, if there are any exception, it will try and show the message. So we will add this one uh, for the button. Uh, I think we have created a table. Yes, create table products, IT boost, tables, right, we have created table, right, fine. So we will add this one. So I will double click this uh, load post button. So straight away you can go to the event private by BTN load post click. I will add the code. Right, I have added the code for the uh, load right still we don't have any records in the button right now we have to add we i'm going to same time i'm going to make some add some records so the record will be have id that is auto increment a product name and the image so we have to add another form to add products so i'll go to project i will click add a windows form so that is going to be form 2 right so we will design the form uh, to, uh, before designing the form to, we will add the event. So I will uh, here, just a simple code here, private button click. We are going to hide the existing, it means the form 1 and making an instance of form 2, say log. So form 2 log equal to form 2 log dot show. Hiding the form 1 and showing the form 2, making an instance. So I will add the add products and here. So we can check, if you want, we can check this one. I will run this one. 
when I will click at products, it will show the form to form one will be uh, that high. Right now, we will design the form to. So to design the form to, uh, here this is the design. We have to place a picture box, a text box, and two buttons. So first, I will go to a toolbox, and I will say, I will place. Uh, I will place two buttons, I will double click two buttons, one, two and a picture box and a text box. I will double click, that is the text box, right. Now we will arrange this one, this is the picture box, I will keep it here, this is the text box, I will. this is the button, this is the button, other one. Right, we will change the, uh, we will a uh, little bit size the picture box uh, and I will make the uh, size mode of the picture box stretch. So it will automatically stretch according to the uh, size of the image. Here, make the size mode stretch. So according to the image size that, uh, right, that will be stretch the image. Here I will select those three. Uh, and I will increase the font size. I'll go to bold and 16. So we will name this uh, txt product name. So for the text box, I am naming it as one txt product name. I will name this one btn save. I'll name this btn close. And we will give the text also. Save. And this one is close. Right. Now we will go to the code. Uh, we need these uh, two namespaces additionally. Data SQL client and system IO. So I will right click. I will go to the code. And I will import the namespaces next uh, we need a global variable only the connection string so i will add the connection string also so that is going to be a global variable connection string now we have to create a method a wide method to insert the file name and the uh, image to the uh, database right so the image is going to be inserted in a back so here this is the method public void insert with two parameters one is string file name another one is a byte array image using the connect making a co connection instant opening the connection using the sql command insert into products product name product image the values are going to be at file name at image using the connection cn and the command type making an instance of command type going to be a text cmd parameters add with value at file name txt product name the file name or in the design in the design here is our design the body the text you are going to be enter in the txt product name that is going to be the file name right and parameters add with value at image is going to be the image right it's a parameter image we'll see that one and executing the query so this is a method to insert the image right additionally we have created another method the method type is array byte convert image to bytes image img 
another method is the right using memory stream ms new memory stream img dot save ms using the memory stream system drawing imaging image format saving as a jpg return ms to array ms to memory stream to array so this is another two methods so we have to add these two methods so i will go to the here so after the public form i will add the method i will make this one one line okay I will add the other method. Right. Now we can add the event for the BTN save click. When you click the BTN save button, save click, we are opening a open file dialog, making object of open file dialog. O F D. Right. Filtering the file, image file. You can upload a JPG file. If OFD, if the show dialog is equal to result OK, if you click on the uh, OK button, if the dialog box is shown, picture box one image. We have placed the picture box in the design image from file, the file name of the open dialog from displaying the right and insert calling the function here insert. Here this is the function we create insert. Uh, passing the parameters from the uh, product uh, text box and uh, convert image to a binary here the convert image to binary picture box image passing the parameter to the picture box. so we are passing these two parameters to the insert method and going to save so it's going to be uh, uh, saved in the uh, database and we are change just changing the button uh, text save and making that one enable false, right? So I'll go to I'll go to form design and I will double click the save button and I will add that code. Right. Now others are small, just for the close button again. So same like for the button close again, hiding the form two and making instant for the uh, form one and showing the form. So I'll double click the button close and I will enter that one and here we have to save that is btn underscore save I think the button name I have named button underscore save right uh, one more thing that's also small when the text change when the text change we have to say uh, again it should be save so I'll double click the text now for the text change I will add that one uh, I think we have to change that one also, btn save, btn save, right. I think we can, uh, now uh, we have uh, successfully completed, we can test the program. I will click start. So first we have to add some products before loading. I will click add products. So I will say fish. I will type first in the text box. After that, I will click the save. Right? I have uh, uh, I have some images already. Right? So, which I have already saved. I select the fish. Uh, yeah. Right. So, when I select the image is loaded. And it says saved, right? Because it's when it's loaded, it's automatically going to the database with the product name fish and the ID will be automatically, right? If you want to add another one, I'll say, uh, um, I'll say pizza and click save. Uh, I will select a pizza. Yeah. And open it's saved uh, we'll say I uh, will say rolls and click save select the rolls and open right we'll say uh, 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 
ब्रेड ब्रेड नाउ क्लिक क्लोज एंड लोड पॉस या right here the button and the text right you can share check the database also i will select i'll say select all from products and execute the query here so the image is in the binary form right here the id So try this one and learn how to make a, a load images to a button to make a POS system. I hope you enjoyed the video and learn how to make buttons programmatically according to the database records. If you didn't subscribe our channel, please subscribe our channel. If you have any question, comment in the comment box.